Hey, I wanted to do a video on how to do an oil change on your scooter. This one's uh, 2021 Vespa Sprint 150, but uh, it's the same for most of Vespa's four stroke models, like anything from like a 50 Primavera up to like a GT 200, it's about the same. Uh, we're not gonna need any special tools. I'm doing it with this, what I have lying around. Um, the drain plug is down here. Uh, it's a 24 millimeter, but a 7 8 flat wrench fits good. Uh, something I forgot to say, this bike's already warmed up. you got to let it run for 10 minutes. You can either let it idle or better yet, just do your oil change when you get home from your ride. So, uh, first thing we're going to do, open the dipstick. Part of the goal is to get oil to drain out of the bike quickly because that'll help wash out any settlements that's like metal shavings that are sitting in the bottom of the pan. We got my 7 8 flat wrench here. This thing shouldn't be very tight. I'm kind of lucky it isn't. You gotta be careful with this exhaust. It's super hot. A little stuff. This would be really easy with like a 24 millimeter low profile socket, but uh, I don't have one. I don't plan on getting one. <laughs> For how often you have to do this, it's not a big deal. Oh, another thing, I'm not using a stand. Your bike comes with a center stand. Just put it on the center stand and do it on the floor. If you have a lift, that's really cool, but you're probably not watching my video if you have a lift. All right. Let's set that aside. Inside this um, drain plug, there's a pre-filter. It's like a screen. You just got to take it out and clean it. I'm sort of stuck holding the uh, drain pan because the center stand is in the way. This is the part if you had a lift, it would be easier. But if you don't, don't worry about it. Okay, now I can. Oh, look. The o ring from this uh, drain plug is stuck to the bike. So watch for that. You need this. If, if it falls out. Your bike's gonna leak oil. This is that pre filter I was telling you about. It uh, it's just supposed to catch any big metal shavings. I can see a little bit in there. Um, so I'm gonna spray that out with some brake clean. I'll just pause this and I'll come right back. Okay, so I got this clean. I just sprayed it out with some brake clean to get. A little bit of crud out of it. So now that the oil's drained, the last thing I gotta do before I can start putting the oil back in it is change the filter. The filter is right next to the drain plug. I'm using channel locks because that's what I have. I know somebody makes a fancy tool that fits on this little filter, but you don't need it. The filter you need, uh, if you're buying aftermarket, it's going to be either the KN KN183 or the High Flow HF183. Obviously, Piaggio makes a filter too, but uh, yeah, I don't know if it's even got a number on it. We won't worry about that. So, when you install the new filter, you've got to make sure that the O ring on it is lubed. Most of these come pre lubed. Let's see what this one's like. Yeah, it is pre-lubed. But if it's not, you just like dunk your finger in some oil and spread it around on that seal. Just makes it easier to get off next time and seal a little better. So I got this new filter, the 
HF183 that I'm sticking on. Just got to go finger tight, like crank it down nice and tight with your hand, but don't tighten it with a wrench. Do yourself a favor. Now I got to clean my uh, drain plug. The uh, O-ring came right out of this, which is a little surprising, but not a big deal. Still looks like it's in good shape, so I can just stick the pre-filter in and then the drain plug back in. So that's the pre-filter in, drain plug going in. Now, the most important part is do not tighten the crap out of this drain plug. You will damage the engine case. The spec is something like 14 to 16 Newton meters. You don't need a torque wrench. Just don't tighten it like it's a bolt. It's just a plug. <laughs> just go real gentle. It's just going to be a little like wrist motion. If you have a torque wrench, that's awesome. But I'm just going to put my hand in the middle of the wrench, push down until I feel it stop lightly. That's it. If it leaks, you can tighten it up a little more. But if you over tighten it, you're going to break something. Okay. That's really the messy part done. You can see the cardboard here absorbs my little bit of spilliness. Now we just got to put oil back in. Bike takes one and a half quarts. I've got some Motul 540 scooter oil. <laughs> it's got this really hilarious funnel built in. Uh, I'm going to just use a normal funnel. <laughs> So the um, fill hole is quite small, so you've got to kind of fill it slowly. This bottle's already half full, so I just dumped the whole thing in. It would be ideal if I put a rag in between this funnel and the exhaust, because some is likely to drip out. You don't want to drip oil on your exhaust, because that's really hot. Um, if you have a different model other than an I get 150, um, you should look at what oil it recommends. This is the oil recommended for this scooter. Hopefully your owner's manual or Google will have the right oil for you. Uh, what else can I tell you? This really isn't that difficult. Uh, it takes about 15 minutes. You can do it yourself faster than you can drive to the dealership. You don't need any special tools. That's part of the reason why I made this video. I watched like a couple of YouTubers explaining how to do this and they're like, I bought the Piaggio wrench. And I just laughed. I think I can do it with channel locks. After you fill your bike with oil, you're going to want to start it. Let it run for about three minutes and let it sit for five minutes and check the oil. You've got to start it to see the correct oil level because it's going to fill up the oil filter and then let it sit just so the oil can settle back down into the pan and check it. Um, this bike has a oil pressure light. It's probably going to come on for about five seconds when the bike first starts because the oil filter will be filling with fresh oil, but then it should go out. If it doesn't go out after 30 seconds, you should stop, but it, it will. Like if you put oil in it, then it'll go away. <laughs> Well, that's the entire process. Just uh, put this back on and we're done.
Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like this video, you know what to do. You have a good day.